Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really adorable handbag style gift bag. I actually made this one as an addition, like an add-on for an online craft along that I'd done the other day and um, it was using these supplies that are featured in this one so I actually did share this with the ladies in that craft along so I know that um, a few of them would be looking out for this tutorial today because they already have the product to be able to make this. I'll link all the product that I've used below. That video is an exclusive video for the people that paid for the class so you won't be able to see the cards um, apart from photos that I share on social media. The actual tutorial for that is for those that um, participated on the day. However there will be future craft alongs and I will always share those details over on my Facebook page if you're interested and you'd like to maybe catch one in the future but for today I'm going to show you how to make this so the scoring and everything you can do and you can use other embossing folders that you might have but I do love this lovely little gift tag that I've got here and this topper is actually from a belly band and then you just open up here and you've got so much space inside and I've used the embossing folder on the front on this piece and also on the back and I've done the handle slightly differently this time so it kind of falls back and then when you go to pick it up um, you know it's that way so it's really nice I've got little embellishments on here as well so let me show you how to make this really fun gift bag okay so I've got here two pieces of cardstock so you need one piece that is ten and a half by 12 and this is going to be the back piece and it will have a little bit of the the closure attached so it's going to kind of flip over for us to attach another piece onto so along the ten and a half inch side if it's directional paper make sure it's facing up the right way you might be using a pattern cardstock or something so along that ten and a half you want to score at six and at ten then rotate it so that last score lines along the top and you're going to score at one two and eight okay so that's that piece and then you'll want this piece here which is ten and a half by ten and again, along the ten and a half, this is again, if you've got anything with pattern, make sure it's the right way up. You're going to score at six and at ten. And then you're going to rotate and score at four. Okay. Now I've also scored at eight, just back along this ten and a half. I've scored at eight, about three quarters of the way down. It would just help you close it, kind of pinch it together a little bit, um, just on the side there. So that's those two pieces and I'll just give you the measurements for these here. So these are going to go on the front and the back. These are mats and layers. So the white is five and three quarters squared and then the pink is five and a half squared. And I've got two pieces for the front and back. And I've used this really nice, it's a wicker pattern embossing folder by Craftwork Cards. And you can see the design that you get with that there. So it looked great in craft cards, especially if you're doing like um, some nice baskets for Easter and even Christmas time and things, it looks really good. And obviously a bag like this as well. And then um, for the lid, so this is the front of the lid. This piece here, I actually cut from the excess here, from this piece, okay? And this is six by two. And then the white piece is five and three quarters by one and three quarters and the pink is five and a half by one and a half. And then I've just embossed that top piece there just so that everything matches. Then for the decoration, I'll go through the handle later, but for this piece and the birthday cake here, I've used these dies here, which is the cake shop by Craftwork Cards. And this is the cake that you can create. And then I have cut the same again in white and covered the back. So now I've got a little tag and I've got somewhere to be able to write on. So it's just really, really cute. I do love this. And then this lovely piece here is just the center part of this belly band, again, which is by Craftwork Cards. And you've got the extra little flower there, which I've used just to build up. And I've just used glossy accents on it. And you can see there, there we go, when it catches the light. You've got all that shine over it and I just thought it's going to tie everything together um, and look really nice and match that card and everything. So I'll pop this to one side there. Okay, so first of all we want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Okay, so first of all with the larger piece, I've got this half inch tab here on my right hand side and I've got these two sections along the top and this is the base. So first of all, we want to do a little bit of cutting. So along the bottom here, I'm just gonna cut up this one right up to that first score line. And then this one here, we're just gonna remove completely. Like so, and then 
flip it around so now that half inch is on the left hand side. You're going to cut down these two score lines here. Oh, sorry, the, that one score line past those two score lines. Okay, just to there. And then again, this corner here, we're going to remove completely. Like so. And now we've got this tab, so I'm just going to take a little wedge off of the two corners there. And then this, these two here, we're actually going to remove completely. I forgot, it's not just that end bit. You want to actually take this away as well, because this is the side. So really neatly. And then we can add our score line into the side of this if you want to. Okay, like so. And then this square here, this is going to be one of your side tabs. So I'm just going to take a nice wedge off of the sides there. Don't need to do anything with that because what's going to happen is this is going to fold in. We'll add the score line in a minute. And once we've done that, that will pinch in and this will come over the front. So we'll do that now just so then we can see how it's all going to look. So pop it back in your scoreboard, like so. And then just follow the eight inch down and then that should bring you halfway. And then just score about three quarters of the way down. You know, don't, don't, you don't have to worry too much. Um, it was just now what we can do is just kind of roughly pinch that in. And you can see now... That's the side that we're going to have. Okay, so that's that piece. And then with this one, you want to have the half inch tab on the right hand side. And again, you're going to do the same as the other one. So you're going to cut up just to that first score line. And then we're going to cut this section away completely. In fact, I'm going to cut a little wedge there at the same time so it's all done. And then just along the top there. And now we can just pinch back that score line as well, like so. Okay, so now with this piece here, we're going to attach this tab into this section here. So ignore these, it's within this 6 by 6 square that we've got here. So I'm just going to bring in my glue. And I'm just going to run my glue down that tab. And then just sit this one over the top. Always focus on your base score line, make sure that they're lined up because everything else you can always trim and you know it's easier to alter the top there than it is the bottom. And I've just remembered I actually need to take a couple of wedges just off of this square one here as well, just like we did with that one there. Okay, and then if we flip the whole thing over, I've just gone and cut that one there. Fold this side and again add some glue and then bring that one over there. And again it should all lay down. And line up like so. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm now going to stick down these. So this is going to go in this six by six area here, and you'll see it fit nicely with that border. Remember the piece, this side one with the score line, that's your side of the, the gift bag. So you want to make sure that you put this, I mean you can see the square anyway, but just make sure you're within that square. So I'm going to do this one on the front, and I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one on the back. Okay, so I've stuck those on the front and the back, and then I'm just going to add glue onto this outer rectangle here, and then I'm just going to stick this one over the top. It's exactly six inches wide, and I'm just going to line it right up to the score line there so it will fold down nicely. Again, just give that a moment to grab. Okay, so now we can open everything up and I'm just going to fold it up like this. So this one here is the back, so I want to fold that one down first of all, and then I'm going to add glue onto the sides of these, fold them in, and then glue on that one and fold it down, and then that will conceal the side pieces within these two larger rectangles. I'm just going to flip the whole thing over. You've got lots of room inside there, so I can really get in bring in your ruler or your bone folder then just really push down make sure your corners are secure that'll be a nice strong base there you can always reinforce this you could put some grey board on top of this piece or you could sandwich it in between the two so while that's drying so now because we, we kind of burnish them they will just go in like so and then you want it to just kind of bounce open 
so that it's the width of that one inch there. And you get a really nice shape to your gift bag. Just make sure, there you go, it goes right down to the points there. Just push them in like so. Okay, so now I can decide where I want this topper to go and it's when you start adding in these pieces now. Look at that, it just becomes such a pretty looking gift bag once we add that on and then the birthday cake tag. Oh, I love all this stuff. So I think for me, I might find it a bit easier to stick it that way and then the Velcro dot can go under there. So I want this to overhang and um, yeah, and I've got to bear in mind that obviously that surface is raised so it's only going to stick to the you know, the raised parts of the embossing folder or the embossed pattern. So I'm just going to pop my glue on that top half there. If I just flick it over and then I can see where I am. So, I mean, if you're using an oval shape or something or a square, obviously it'd be easier to, to line up. But I think I've got about, you know, an even amount on each side there. Just test how that looks. I think that looks really nice. So I'm just going to hold that down for a second. And then I've just got some Velcro dots here. These are 10 mil hook and loop. So I'm just going to take a pair off there. And I'm going to pop it probably in that bit there because I think that's it will hold you know, it's, I don't want to put it right down on there because it might just be a little bit too weak for it. And again, make sure before you stick it down that you've got the gift bag open that one inch and then it will just, it's nice and straight. And you can just push that one there. Okay, closes up really nicely. Such a great shape. So the handle, optional, you could keep it as a little clutch style like this, it looked really nice, um, but I want the handle because I also want to be able to tie that around, so it's kind of, yeah, kind of like that. I think it's going to look very, very sweet. So this piece here is just how I do a lot of my handles. Um, if I haven't already linked it, I'll link my handbag playlist because there's, there's so many on there now and um, they're always popular. I try to make each one different. So this is a piece of scrap. This was 11 and a half by one inch. And what you want to do is score, start scoring from one inch all the way down to ten and a half. Okay, so you should have, you know, one inch free here and here of that centre score line. Then just fold it in half and just curl it with the bone folder. Okay, now you can add glue in there, but because of the way that you've curved it, you've kind of stretched the cardstock, it's not going to come out of that position. And once we stick these ends down, you, there is no real reason to add the glue but if you want to because maybe you're putting something quite heavy in there or you just want your own peace of mind to know it's not going to come apart by all means do so so yours will right now yours will be like probably something like that pinch it right down to the end of that score line between your thing finger and your thumb and then push back on itself so you get that triangle shape okay and then from the bottom there just fold that up like so you don't need to use a scoreboard. So again, pretend that one's not done, so you'll have something like that. Pinch right up to the end of this score line here, and then push back. So you get a nice triangle shape, and then just fold that up so it lines up with the bottom of the triangle. So you should have half an inch here, and half an inch there. Now there's quite a few ways that you can stick this down. So I was playing around in my head before. You could have it like this, okay, which is how I think I'm going to do it for this one. So when you're not holding it, it's going to, because once that's stuck, if I just kind of hold it, they're going to fall down like that. But then when you lift it up, they come up. And I think, I don't know, it's just a little bit different. You, If you want to, you can do it that way. So they'll be like this. Or you could do it that way. So it faces backwards. And you could also stick it on the actual backs of the bag on there. Then you maybe want to glue it. Or you could do it that way actually. That's, what was I thinking? Of course you want to do it that way. There we go. Like that. So there's loads of ways, but I really like the thought of this way. So it's a bit bouncy, a bouncy handle. So I'm going to use the Quick Grab Cosmic Shimmer, which is here. 
So I'm going to sit this one down on the left first. So I just want to make sure that I think I'm going to come in maybe actually let's just lay it down first of all. Yeah, one inch from each side will be fine. So I'm just going to and I'm going to open the bag up because I think it's going to be easier to work with it like this. So I'm going to come in about one inch, oh, that way, and then I want it to be right in the middle. Like so. so I'm going to get this one down nice and straight and then I can measure exactly where that is. And I think I'm going to bring in a couple of these embellishments. They are from Stamping Up. I've had them for a while now just to tie in because I've used them on the lovely little arrangement here. I'm going to pop them in there as well. The actual measurement now from that one there is it is seven eighths of an inch. So I'm going to add my glue. Okay so there is the gift bag. Isn't it adorable? I love the little gems there or the flat back pearls, embellishments, whatever you want to call them. I think it looks absolutely adorable. It's just got such a cute little, I always say it whenever I make these cute little gift bags, I just think they'd be perfect for a little girl's tea party, you know, and have these as a little gift. This is the gift bag for everybody on their kind of place, you know, at the table. I think it's adorable. So then you've got your gift tag here. So again, completely optional, but I do think it just, oh, just makes it super cute. I just love doing all this kind of stuff. So I think I need to almost attach it whilst it's on there and then I might with a bit of hot glue. I think what I'm going to do actually is just do a like a little bow here and then just attach with a bit of hot glue the um, cake to this piece. I do like a gift bag with a tag, with a matching tag but I don't find that I make them enough. So I'm going to do something like that and just attach it to the, the one candle. I think that'll look quite cute. I'm just going to put the smallest bead of glue just on that candle and then I'm going to put the candle in here and just hide it behind that knot in the centre of the bow there and just bring that bow towards the front and now I've got a really cute little birthday cake gift tag all ready to write on. I think it's adorable, absolutely love this. So there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It's really straightforward to do, but I just think with those little details and just the tag, and I love this on the front, and you've just got so much room inside there. It's, yeah, nice bit of pink tissue paper as well to finish it off. I think it'll look adorable. And I just like that, that different way of having the handle. I think it's, yeah, it, it works really well, I think. So there you have it. So thank you for watching. As always, all the links to what I've used today will be shared in the video description below. And um, I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.